okay, where the, uh, you know, the horses are seeing the barn. So this is the last afternoon, and uh, we are honored to have Ilse von Lang, who has a, uh, who's a, a, a inbound, is an outbound tour operator from Holland and from the Netherlands, and uh, she's going to talk a little bit about who cares for ICW. And uh, so she's here for IPW, and uh, she comes every year, and she's going to talk a little bit about international inbound tourism and from her perspective, and I think you have a little presentation, right? So just the, so uh, when you're at ITW and talking to destinations and you, it's like a reunion for you, right? Because you're you're working with these clients for a long time. So what can people do in terms of uh, in terms of international? Uh, do you book through receptive operators? You, you do. So uh, so how would they? Uh, so which receptive operator do you book through? Because those are the ones that they can probably interact with. There were 15. The people had done their homework very good, so they knew that I came and they had their accessible um, uh, features already ready for me. That's a big difference, and people were also enthusiastic to hear about the 
So we like to take credit for all of that awareness, but it really has nothing to do with us. Maybe a little bit of to do with us, but it's actually becoming very mainstream through general media here. And just the, uh, so Academy Award, fashion brands, all these things now feature accessibility. Uh, Celebrity Cruises now has an entire, uh, essentially an open source photography, stock photography uh, available where they're doing like, uh, they're using world class, you know, Annie Leibovitz and uh, world class photographers <laughs> focusing on accessibility uh, around the, and people can use that. So there, there's a lot of awareness here that's taking place now. So uh, when you work with the, so I understand the receptive market because I've, I've been involved with that. And they're sort of the, the, they're the connection between the hotel and you. And, uh, and you're the connection between them and the travel agent, right? In, in, uh, so uh, so our, I wanted to ask you about how the, the, your traveler base has changed. And is there, because here it's, the attention is being given because of baby boomers aging into a disability. So I'm just wondering, because I, I, what I suspect is those travel agents have had customers for 30 years, and those customers are now aging into a disability, and they're, they want to travel. So I, I was going to ask you about that. Is that something that you see, or is that, that is? <laughs> This uh, awareness was probably with activity, with that, with, 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 with people actually implementing. So, is this happening now? Do you see more, of what, more in terms of other travel agents, or um, you know, uh, your clients who are travel agents actually, you know, booking accessibility, and some have disabilities themselves. Oh, you do. Okay. Thank you. 
See, so and then, uh, so or, is Oregon the destination of choice for you to direct your uh, clients to? But they want to go to Las Vegas and they want to go to the you know the main areas like New York and Las Vegas and just the and then uh, so are the receptive operators uh, do they understand the needs of uh, they do? The booking system, right? So just these, so so this is what they can do is just you know, somehow reach out to the to the receptive operators to get them to to uh, understand that the hotels they just have to ask the hotels about accessible rooms that are serving them because the hotels have that system. So just these. So anyway, okay. So is there any anything else um, you know as a uh, you know as a B two B provider? That uh, you think our audience should know? So, are there other? So, are you the only uh, disabled you know, person with a disability that comes to our IPW as a buyer? Yeah, I was only in the twenty days. Now, I was just at six thousand people. So, I was wondering what I was wondering. Can you tell me what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah. yeah. So, I was asked to do something for you. Yeah. But I'm the only one. Yeah. So, yeah. So, well, thank you very much, Jessica. So, just, sure. Yeah, okay. I 
So just to, so we hope that there are more wheelchair using travel agents and tour operators from other countries in Europe to start coming to us so that we can uh, you know show the, the accessibility because the U.S. in a lot of ways is a lot more accessible than other countries because of the ADA and some awareness here. So anyway, I want to thank you very much for coming and uh, and uh, it was great to meet you in person after talking to you so, so often. So thank you very much, Jessica. Okay. Thank you.